Ed Woodward is a dreamer. He discovered when he was young that he loved to fly, so that's what he did. I wanted to fly the F-15C. I mean, that was goal one. I had aspirations, like I'd always liked the military. My dad was in the Marine Corps in World War II. So when this opportunity came up, I'm like, man, that's probably what I've been looking forward, looking to do, so, I, and then, you know, off to the races on that. When I first started flying, it was, um, I was good at it. Like, I was good at it right off the bat. One of those things, you know. Woodward was a navigator aboard a KC-135 for two years and then took action to achieve his number one goal. In 2006, after nine months of training and within five flights of graduating, that dream went dark. It was after a night flight, like my head just um, really hurt on the left-hand side. And so it had been just like uh, excruciating, like the worst headache you've ever had, except it was only on the left side and that happened right after I landed. So I know it was, um, everything didn't come to fruition for like another day or so. So basically the pressure had to build up, the clot had to propagate, and, and then everything went to hell. <laughs> when Woodward woke up after the stroke, his world had changed. I woke up and everybody was like shocked. Like his dreams of flying the F-15 were over. He had to find a new sense of purpose. But first, he had to learn to speak again. Woodward and his wife, Manda, decided to start a family and had their son, Tyler. He's the absolute key, you know. While his path remained unclear, after some encouraging words and a conversation with his grandfather, he knew. It was actually uh, the last time we got to talk, but we're just sitting there and he's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know. You know, he's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, man, I don't know what I can do, you know? I'm not exactly sure. And then he's like, why don't you just go finish what Gene started? That's what you should do. And I said, um, that sounds like a damn good idea. Woodward's twin brother, Gene, was in medical school at USF in 2000 when he was killed by a drunk driver. Right before I was commissioned, I, uh, he had finished his very first year of med school and he took his exams. It was just, it was just a fun night. And then we were just driving home and he got hit by a drunk driver. Uh, yeah, so he'd, you know, always knew he wanted to be a doctor. Woodward is on his way to fulfilling his brother's dream. Now, becoming a doctor is his dream as well. He's working toward a master's degree in medical science at USF's Morsani College of Medicine, and he'll apply to medical school in the spring. He did really well. Um, he's, he's been way above average in all his classes. It's that drive that caught the eye of Katie Carson, an admissions officer at USF's Morsani College of Medicine. She encouraged Woodward to apply for the Tillman Military Scholarship, an award that aids and encourages education and leadership for military personnel. Woodward was one of 59 winners nationwide. It takes the financial burden away where you can actually focus on the goals. You can just, uh, it just allows you to, to take one more thing off of your, off of the plate. Marie Tillman says the call to serve, you know what I mean? It's in everybody that's in that room, everybody that even applies to be a Tillman scholar. And I think, um, I think that was finally when I started to feel like I was gaining myself back again when I found that that tribe that 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 want to how can I provide for my family help my fellow veterans and be a positive force in the community how can I do that uh, okay I'll go to med school I mean I know I can do it so I just have to put up or shut up when you hear his story, it's really inspiring. And then here he is in the classroom, and, and he's 37 years old, and he's in class with a bunch of 23-year-olds, and they all really look up to him. And and I'm like, you know, he can do it. He's he's also starting over too. He's you know starting over with a career change, so I'm sure it's humbling for him too. But he's excelling, and uh, he's demonstrated he has the academic ability to do well in a medical school environment. Makes me feel hopeful. I feel um, like. Uh, like in like it's where it's you know maybe this is this is why everything happened you know and maybe you know I wasn't supposed to fly the F-15 the whole my whole life you know and so it makes me feel like I can do anything really 